You're watching Pulse for the 27th of January and it's time for some StarCraft news. In this week's episode we take a look at the announcement of the 2012 Battle.net World Championship event along with the sad news that there won't be a BlizzCon this year. Yes. Aww. There's another post on the community site from David Kim that answers the questions from the community. We have a quick recap of IEM Kiev, listen to a new song from Tempo and more. Let's get straight to the news. In our first piece of news, Blizzard is proud to announce the 2012 Battle.net World Championship. This is a major global esports event featuring some of the best pro gaming competition in the world. This event is slated to take place near the end of 2012 and the Battle.net World Championship will host this year's StarCraft 2 and World of Warcraft Arena World Championship tournaments. Blizzard gamers and esports fans from around the world will be invited to attend and witness some of the most skilled pro players on the planet. Battle it out for cash and glory. Now as amazing as this does sound, and it really, really does, there is a catch. While Blizzard are furiously working away at getting Diablo 3, Mists of Pandaria and Heart of the Swarm into players hands as soon as they possibly can, they don't really have the time to have a BlizzCon in 2012. And I suppose it doesn't exclusively come down to time, they might just not have anything that big to announce this year. I mean, as I said, they're working on Diablo, Mists of Pandaria, Heart of the Swarm, and assuming Diablo comes out sometime in the first half of this year and then perhaps Heart of the Swarm in the second half, that would mean by the time that BlizzCon would roll around, they would have either just released Heart of the Swarm or they would be getting ready to release it. So then it would be pretty impossible for them to be talking about Legacy of the Void already. Let's not even mention Project Titan, that's probably even earlier in development than all the aforementioned games. So long story short, BlizzCon's not happening this year because they have a lot of games that they're currently working on, I'm assuming they don't have anything big to announce, and let's face it, the 2012 Battle.net World Championship event will probably make up for the lack of a BlizzCon, for esports fans at least. Blizzard have let us know that more details about the 2012 Battle.net World Championship and BlizzCon 2013, including specific dates and locations, will be coming in the months ahead. The only hint that we have about the location of this event is that it's going to be happening in Asia. So my best bet would probably be South Korea, but you never know with Blizzard. If you want to read more about this, you can find a link to the announcement in the description below this video, but the guys over at Team Liquid have let us know that the actual announcement is just the tip of the iceberg. Somehow they managed to gather even more information about this event from Blizzard's Ilja Rotelli, the global director of community and esports. He offered some details about Blizzard's ambitious plans for StarCraft 2 in 2012. Their post covers a lot of stuff that Blizzard themselves didn't cover, including the structure of the tournament, how they're going to run qualifiers, the national and continental championships, and much more. We even got a pretty interesting mention that this will be held exclusively on Wings of Liberty, and that's going to be regardless of when Heart of the Swarm launches. A lot of the people took that as a release date announcement of sorts for Heart of the Swarm. If anything, we sort of know that it might come in 2012 now. And yes, I did just say both sort of and might in the same sentence regarding a release date. All that said though, this post from Team Liquid is definitely well worth having a look at. You can read the full Q&A with Ilja Rotelli. It is pretty interesting, especially if you're an eSports or StarCraft 2 fan and are looking forward to this 2012 World Championship. In our next piece of news, we've got questions from the community. This is a post over on the official StarCraft 2 community site by David Kim. Apparently every week, Blizzard comb the various forums and sites to get a feel for what their players are experiencing. David Kim thought that he'd comment on some of the concerns that they've seen popping up in the community recently. Now I'm definitely not going to be covering every single question in full here, but I will tell you guys what to expect if you check this post out. He covers Mass Mutalisk versus Protoss, whether it's actually a problem or not. The fact that the community feels that Protoss win rate is too low in tournaments. Carrier removal in Heart of the Swarm, and yes, that's a touchy subject for a lot of players. Terran can't beat Protoss. Now there's a bold statement. David Kim pretty much rips that one apart. Ghost's EMPs are now, after the recent nerf, apparently too weak. Forge Fast Expand is apparently very difficult to stop as Zerg. I'll vouch for this one. I do play Zerg myself and it is pretty difficult to stop sometimes, but I do not think it's imbalanced at all. And the last question or topic he covers is that Nidus Worm seems too inconsistent and the community would like it to be more like Overlord Transport. 
So if you want to hear what David Kim has to say about all those topics, then you can check this post out. I would say if you're actively trying to improve at StarCraft and you've had a problem with any of these in the past, then this is definitely worth having a look at. They also let us know that they look forward to sharing more about Heart of the Swarm and the exciting changes it will bring in the future. That sounds good, so again, check that out and enjoy. Now in our next piece of news, a quick recap of IEM Kiev. If you didn't know, it happened this past weekend and Slayer's Terran player MMA took first place. He took down the Zerg plane Demaga in the finals with a score of 3 to 1 and scored himself the $6,500 first place prize. The top 4 of the event were as follows. First place, as I mentioned, MMA, then Demaga, then Kuss, and then Zenio. I would say that Demaga specifically put on an incredibly good show and I think it's quite impressive that this wasn't entirely Korean dominated. But anyway, if you want to, you can read all about the event and see all the results for yourselves in the links below this video. With that done, we're going to move on to the only piece of community news we've got this week. It's another song from Tempo Starcraft. This one titled, Without Mules. And I think you can all guess what this is a parody of. David Guetta and Usher's song, Without You. And this one is, as the title suggests, about everyone's favorite use of their orbital command energy. Those silly mules. I will tell you this though, Tempo never disappoints. Somehow he manages to sing this song as well, if not better than the original, and the video editing was pretty stellar too. It's just something you have to see for yourself to appreciate fully. If you want to watch it, you can click the link on your screens right now and it will open in a new window. Check it out and enjoy. Now we're going to move on to the StarCraft 2 Smalls. First up, read about the GSTL that is in fact starting today. Some more MLG 2012 details and dates have been announced. Read some updates about the IGN Team Arena Challenge 2. There's $3,000 up for grabs at the One Nation of Gamers Invitational that's happening on the 28th of January. A couple more invites have been announced for the Republic of Gamers Winter 2012 tournament. IPL Fight Club 8 is set up and ready to go between Nurchio and Chuck G. Have a look at the first invites for the third Scan Invitational. And lastly, don't forget about Polar Fluke January that is in fact happening this very weekend. Over at the official site, have a look at the Holiday Card Contest winners. Then brace yourselves, StarCraft 2 Premium Collectible Figures are here. Check out the latest StarCraft Art of War post, this one titled Tech Choices. Violet has joined Team Empire, Axlav has joined Team Rain, Boxer has been appointed the plain head coach of Slayers. You can have a look at a Millennium House and Players interview, that's pretty interesting. Stefano and some other big names are going to be staying in that house. There's a post up over at EG's website about Idran JYP coming back from Korea. There's a post up over at Quantic Gaming about Destiny staying in Korea. White Raw has apparently picked up a handsome nerd sponsorship. Then have a look at an interesting interview that Toskull did with Flash. Over at Team Liquid you can have a look at their new Barcraft section and on Reddit there's a new building eSports subreddit. Well worth having a look at if you're a StarCraft 2 or eSports fan. Then two interesting posts over at Team Liquid, the direction of eSports and the foreigner dilemma. Right here on YouTube you can have a look at Uncensored with Wani. This is a new series that JP McDaniel may or may not be starting up. I think it all depends on the community reaction to it, so we'll have to wait and see if there'll be another episode. Over at the Evil Geniuses channel, you can have a look at Mail Call Episode 1. This is where they just go through the fan mail that they receive from players, and they go through the replies from their players back to the fans. It's a pretty cool thing to see. Lastly, also right here on YouTube, have a look at some VODs from the Twitch TV Invitational over at Total Biscuits channel. Sadly, that's all I have for you in the StarCraft news. You can check the description below this video to find links to everything that I spoke about in this episode. Remember to like the video, favorite it, share it with your friends, and subscribe. Most importantly though, happy 2012 Battle.net World Championship.